It's go time, people. It's go time. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Cash green unboxing, cash green unboxing, cash green unboxing. Things positive, people. Thumbs up this video. Hey, Matt. Hey, Alex. What's up? Hi. How are you? Positivity, people. The batteries fell out. Let's fade it out, shall we? Hello, UK. Hello, Derek. Greetings from Alaska to you. Ned Stock's in the house. Matthew's in the house from Canada. Surveyor's here. Casey's here. Cash Canada. Uh. Fading out. Oh, hi. Hello, Amber Smith. Hello, the guy. Hope you guys are doing well. I, I just took this out, and as I took it out, I the batteries fell out. That's never good. Hello, Rob, Robert Alford. Hutchinson family is in the house. Hello, friends. Thank you so much for joining me today for what is the, I think the fifth live stream I've done during quarantine. Brianna's here. Christopher is from, here from North Carolina. And there, oh, did you see that? I don't know if you can see. Bam! Keeping things positive, people. Let's keep things positive because that's the, that's the only thing we can really do right now, right? Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining. If you don't know who I am, I'm not sure how you found this video. <laughs> I'm Josh with the Geocaching Vlogger. Hello, Jason Johnson is in the house. Um, Gary Slinkard, host of the Geocache Talk podcast, is here today. Yes, yes. Jason from the Geo Dudes is here today. Oh, we have a treat for you today. Our treat for you today is that we will be unboxing the April, it's probably backwards for you, the April Cash Advance Cash Crate. If you don't know what the Cash Crate is, it's a monthly subscription box. Every month, Lisa from Cash Advance knows, she knows, guys. She knows what you like. She knows what geocachers love and she puts them in a box and she sends them to geocachers all around the world. And is she in the house? I think she's in the chat. If Lisa's in the chat, say, say hello, Lisa. But she's here, she's watching, and I get it. Like, I got this, so I don't wanna spoil things. So I like got this two weeks ago. It's just been sitting there, it's been sitting back there, taunting me, taunting me. There she is, hey, hey, to Lisa. This cash crate has been just taunting me back there because I don't want to open it and like spoil it for the subscribers, right? That's no good. Like part of the fun of opening up one of these cash crates is the surprises. The surprises that are in the box. And let me just say this month for me, this month for me, it was very challenging to avoid spoilers. So I might, I might. I don't know everything, but I might know a few things that are inside the cash crate. Um, so, um, yes, we're gonna open this up pretty soon. Now, these live streams have been, gosh, every week they've been an hour long, and I don't know if I have enough content to go for a full hour this time. Oh my gosh, Jason. <laughs> Jason Johnston, you are so kind. He just gave me a super chat of $2 and I think 99 cents. And you know what that means, Jason? Jason, you gave me you gave me a super chat last week. So you know what that means. It means um, I've got to do a little dance for you. It's got to happen, Jason. This is for you. Oh, that song's not good enough. How about this one? Oh, yeah. And 
I'm going to do, for you, Jason Johnston, Johnston, I'm going to do a slow dance with Yoda Best. Here we go. This is slow dancing. Yoda Best! Mwah! Oh yeah, that was, that was Yoda Best. If you'd like to discover Yoda Best, I'm sorry, Casey, that you're cringing so hard. That's what I do. I make people cringe sometimes, but I don't care because you know what? You know what? We're just keeping, we're keeping things positive, right? Keeping things positive. So, um, cringe all you like. I'm gonna just keep being me. If you'd like to discover Yoda Best, there he is. Look at, can you believe this? This guy is discoverable. And you know what? I'm going to make you, I'm going to make you, if you want to, if you haven't discovered him yet, uh, you can. Two, two lives ago. So two lives ago, uh, we did that. So um, you can discover Yoda best. All right. So how is everybody doing? How's everybody feeling? I'm going to take a drink of my water and then... You, while I do that, you can just, uh, oh, Casey asked, did I get Reister Bunny uh, Chipotle? We made homemade Chipotle, so. People are doing awesome. Um, oh, I'm sad. Alex's cash got muggled. That's not cool. Uh, Robert just fixed four of the caches. It's that time of year for cash maintenance. Ned went on a good hike. Uh, Derek made some rockets. Is it warm in Minnesota? Well, it depends what your definition of warm is. It is, I think today is in the 60s in Fahrenheit. Uh, MJ, thank you so much. Kenny's Kenny Anderson's feeling great. That's good to hear. Texas is hot. Like, Alex, like, how hot? Um, same in Pennsylvania. Oh, you want to see the glass? Yes, vintage glass. Here we go. Today's vintage glass is brought to you by the Great Muppet Caper Movie. How's that? That's pretty sweet. And this one was, uh, this one says 1981 on it, and it was from McDonald's. Oh my gosh, somebody is printing something in my home. That means any moment, you might be able, you guys, exclusive content, you might be able to see my wife come through these doors and pick up the thing that she's printing. This is exclusive. She. Tammy doesn't really like being on videos very often, but she's gonna come in here anyway, and you guys will get to see her, and she'll wave, and she'll say hello to you. It's a possibility. She just printed out something, so we'll see if that actually happens. I know. Um, yeah, so this is from McDonald's in 1981. I remember that year. I was four years old. 81 degrees. <laughs> uh, the Happy to Hodag says, they don't, th he, he does not think he has ever seen the Mrs. Geocaching Vlogger. But Lyric Glass loves, Ker I love, who do I mean, who doesn't love Kermit? Like, who would watch Kermit and be like, I don't like that frog. He's the most pleasant, kind little puppet frog ever. Is she, is she gonna come? Is she gonna come down here? And the suspense, the suspense is killing me. It's killing me. Everybody wants to see the, um, the, the Mrs. The Mrs. Geocaching Vlogger. She's also often hidden. She's mysterious. Does she really exist? It's like, it's like in the '80s when I watched, um, when I watched Sesame Street, and nobody believed Big Bird that Snuffleupagus existed. So basically, my wife is like Snuffleupagus. Snuffleupagus. I don't, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. I know people are going crazy. Like, where is she? Maybe she heard that I was live, and now she's not coming down. I'm just gonna make sure that this was her printing. Um, yeah, I think, I think it is. It is her. It's her stuff. So maybe she's not going to come in. Who knows? Um, Mason asks, what is my fine count? What is my fine count as of today? Let's see, shall we? Let's look at the old geocaching.com, shall we? Today my fine count is 5,151 caches. She printed some stuff for homework. So... Uh, the real reason you guys are here are, are to hang out. Oh my gosh, we have 81 people here. Two weeks ago, we got over 100 people. So that would be pretty sweet. 
I forgot, but also not. Hello to anybody watching on the replay, by the way. Good to see you all here. Um, so I think what we should do, let's do this, because it was advertised that I'd be unboxing the cash crate. Let's let's do that first, and let's see, let's see how long that takes. And usually I do these on video and I cut out a lot of the stuff in, bet in between. So you're gonna see my natural, my all, my all, all natural, my, um, my all natural reaction to the cash crate. First of all, let me just say this. Yeah, it is a nice, the, the box design is incredible. The, the fun fact about the box design, the box is designed by uh, Chris Mackey, who is one of the most premier, premier geocoin designers. So a person that designed geocoins also designed this box. And so if you guys wanna look at it closer, like look at this, like, like this end up, okay? What do we got here? Airmail on, on this side. I'm not gonna show you my address. Um, this one says, I heart great logs. Uh, this one says, ET highway or bust. I've been there. I never actually look. <laughs> I've never actually looked this close, and um, and this says handled with care. And look, uh, you can grab this rope. I'm struggling grabbing the rope. Okay, let's let's. What's on the other side? Um, other side. Ooh, this one says welcome to fabulous Las Vegas. That sign, that sign is a virtual geocache. Did you know that? I've been there. Uh, this one says New York, New York on it, uh, and then another. Can't grab it. And then let's look at the front of it. FTF, first defined. There's the, uh, the. did you know that this logo, this geocaching logo is public domain, so anybody can use this? Derek's asking who started geocaching. Oh my gosh, can we talk about that for a minute? Big blue switch day, the day where selective availability for GPS technology was turned off. That was the ner nerdiest thing I said all day. Uh, the, that was 20 years ago, this Saturday. And then the following day, May 3rd, which is this coming Sunday, that is the day where Dave Ulmer, yes, some of you said it in the chat, Dave Ulmer from, the, oh, who is the, who could it be? <laughs> oh my gosh! Hello. Oh, it's, I told you this was gonna be exclusive. I knew she printed something, I knew she was coming down. Well. I got word that somebody knew I was printing something and I was so confused. So, hello, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> it was really weird. Everybody's like, she exists. Everybody's saying hello to you. Hello, hello, hello. Do you want to stay here and answer one question? I'll try, sure. Okay, anybody, if you have a question for, this is, her name's Tammy. Oh, be careful. Um, the setup's I don't wanna, really The setup, yeah, you, your uh, ET is hold, holding you right now. Um, he's holding the phone. Yeah, he's holding the phone. Do you cash? Uh, yeah, sometimes. Sometimes, when she's with me. Who is older? She's older. I, I am. You guys, I robbed the cradle. What was your favorite geocache? Uh, I, I um, went down a, what is it called? A, you know, rappelled. Down. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was a really cool cache. Oh yeah, we did a five five um cat five 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 terrain, five difficulty cache where we repelled I did do a tree climb, that's true. Oh she did do Good a tree point. climb. But we, we together repelled down a cliff Who's and nicer? Did, to the juke. Uh I don't uh yeah, I'm not no, she's nice. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. They mostly know me, so I don't know. My hubby is younger than me too. Um so there you ask your questions. Do you have a YouTube channel? Um no. No. Do I embarrass you? <laughs> Be honest. Does Josh embarrass me? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Did, I probably embarrass him too, though. Uh, Do, she, they say you look like Reese. That's funny. Um, no, I don't have a YouTube channel, but I, um, I have gone viral. Before. Yes, Gary just said she's viral famous. <laughs> she's a. Uh, she did a, a video on Twitter. Well, it went viral everywhere where she was lip syncing to Lil Wayne and it blew up. Millions, we, millions of people saw it. We've been married for 22 Two? <laughs> years. Uh, 22 years, yeah. Oh, Craig, the Aussie geocacher. See, my shells is here. Good day. Good day, friend. Good day. Congrats. Thank you. That was cute. She, Gary said that that video was cute. I'm assuming he thinks that video. Do you want to stay with us? Sebastian wants this one. Do you want to stay with us? Where is that? No, like, do you want to stay in the chat? I think they're asking. Oh, oh yeah, I'll stay. You uh, have any more questions? Definitely sees Reese in you. I feel like this is a different live stream where we could just highlight you. Uh, Deborah says she likes your earrings. Oh, thanks. The person who lives with us, she makes them. Yeah, that's cool. 
32. Ooh, 32 wow. years. Wow. That's awesome. That is awesome. My, What's my, your favorite food? My favorite food? I love Indian food. Like spicy curry stuff. Yeah. I'm not, I, I'm more of a vanilla bean. What's your favorite radio station in Minnesota? Minnesota? The Current. The Current. <laughs> uh, favorite drink. Favorite drink? Mm, depends on what we're talking about. Did I want to have three children? I wanted to have four. <laughs> and then we had one and we were like, one's good. <laughs> <laughs> have you been to Dallas? Mm, yeah, once. I don't remember it very well. Yeah. Favorite movie, favorite movie. I would have to go with like something like, yes, yeah, Ben to Prince's Mansion. Uh, uh, it's hard to keep up with. I know. Um, movie. Let's go back to that. Girls just want to have fun, maybe. Uh, or Footloose from my childhood. <laughs> what geocaching story has Joshua not told us? <laughs> I'm pretty open with you guys. I don't know if there are you any. You might know more than I do. Yeah. You, you guys. Favorite clip that Josh has made. You liked my video I did this week with the signs. You said you liked it. Yeah, I did like it. I don't know like if that's it. your favorite. Uh, it was pretty funny that oh. he actually got naked. That was a surprise. Oh, for the naked cache. Mm -hmm. They didn't see that. So for the naked cache, yeah. I oh, actually sorry. I actually did get naked, but you didn't see that for obvious reasons. Um, I would say we went to Chicago and did Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Yeah, that was so cool. That was really yeah, fun. Because that's another favorite movie from my childhood. Cool. Well, Wait, I have to open famous? this. Famous? What was what? that? What? Have, have you, you met, met anyone? anyone? Famous. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have some funny stories about that. Um, I claim to have met Tatum. Channing Tatum. Yeah. On but an Josh doesn't believe it. I, I, I don't believe I believe it. I sat next to him an entire flight before he was famous. Jen Jen says, you're the only family member she hasn't <laughs> met yet. Do you have a TikTok? No. I do. I have an Instagram. Where, where can they follow you? T Meister J. T Meister J. Where, T -Meister where did J. we meet? We met in Mankato, Minnesota. Mm -hmm. How did, It's a long story. I, I think we're going to have to like... We'll do our own sometime. Yeah, but, because the priority right now is the cash crate. And that you guys have a lot of good questions. So maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe I can convince her next week to join us for the live chat for the whole time. TikTok's not my jam, but I love Instagram. I love... Uh, I use Facebook a lot. Lisa. T Meister J, yep. yep. Lisa from Cash Advance says, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Awesome. I've seen many videos of you, Lisa. Um, there was one thing I was going to say. I forgot what it was, but cool. Cool. All, All right. right. You, you can, you want, I'm you going can take, back to school. Take your print, print, print outs. Finishing school. Somebody said, how about we open the cash crate? Yes, that's what we're going to do that next. <laughs> Okay. Nice to meet the famous t famous Tammy. She came in, guys. What a nice surprise. <laughs> Thanks to Gary. Okay, bye, guys. Oh, Gary told you to come? Yeah. Did he text you? Yeah, well, Facebook. Oh, that's funny. That's really funny. Everybody saying goodbye. Well, that was a special treat for all of you. Mmm. Let's open the cash crate, shall we? All right. First thing I, ne I need to say, yeah, way to go, Gary. First thing I'm going to say, that this is the heaviest cash crate I've ever received. Lisa, you will need to confirm this because she's in the chat. Is this the heaviest cash crate that you've sent? Because it certainly feels heavy. It says here, I don't know, it doesn't say how many ounces it is. Two pounds? Is this a two pounder? Um, I've received the hero crate. Those, are, those have been heavy, but the, this is like maybe the heaviest cash crate. And Lisa's saying yes, I think so. Lisa can tell you, uh, I believe there, I might be wrong, Lisa. I should have this information correct, but I think to get this monthly, it's $25 a month, I believe. Uh, 25, right now the cash, the vault, the cash crate vault is not open, but you can put yourself on the waiting list. Somebody in the chat here already mentioned that they were already in the waiting list. Um, so yes, Lisa says there's $25 a month. And also I think it's a little bit more if you get the add-on trackable, which I get every month. month, So yes, $25 a month to get the cash crate right now. Uh, right now you can't sign up for it, but you can get on the waiting list uh, for it. So let's open. Without further ado, we are now 20 minutes in. And let's go geocaching said, uh, they unboxed theirs right away. But again, 
I wait to unbox it so uh, my videos don't spoil it, uh, don't spoil it for anyone. Now, the box design is just, it is so cool because um, here's all the information here. Um, and then look at that. I love this. I love when you, uh, you flip that up, it says what's inside will get you outside. And that is so true. That's one of the things I love about the cash crate is that it always, it always inspires me. It always inspires me to go and do something, either hide a cache or use a use a tool that's in there or put a trackable in a cache. Like I love it because it always inspires me to get out and do something. And uh, that that is the mission of this YouTube channel. The mission of this YouTube channel is to inspire you to get out and create your own adventures. And so that's why myself and Lisa at Cash Advance and Cash Advance as a business, I think, we're, I think we're a great team. I think it's a great partnership. And at the end, we'll talk a little bit about the Geo Challenge of the month that is going to uh, be happening. By the way, tomorrow is the last day to the last day to get in on the April Geo Challenge of the month. So um, hopefully you've got to do that. We're at 96 people. Boy, if we could get to 100, uh, that would be that would be really really fun. So okay, I'm going to open it up now. Um, here's the thing. So. The presentation, I just say, like, this went through, this went through the mail, you know, through lots of, lots of hands in, in the mail. Gas Station Tune is in the house. Hello, my friend. Good to see you here. And so the presentation is always in great shape. So, oh my gosh, the first thing I see in here is something, I'm not going to try, I'm going to try not to look at the other thing. But yes, um, Gary Slinkard, who is actually in the chat room right now author of this first item that's in here and let me just say i have this already and it is it is great and that is 201 the book by gary slinkard 201 geocaches to find before you die dun 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 uh, second edition by gary slinkard now let me tell you something something i love about this we're almost to 100 people uh something i love about this is that when I was a kid, I collected basketball cards and I collected baseball cards. And so um, what I loved about collecting them, I loved collecting sets. And now as we're almost to 100, it says 98 for me. When I was a child, I, I tried to collect sets. And now as an adult, I try to collect geocaches. And so what this book is, is uh, lists. It's a list and descriptions of some of the best geocaches in America. And so like, for example, like look at this page, it says top 20 unknown caches. And so these are like the top ones. So I love like, wouldn't it be cool to be able to check off, like check off each one that you've gotten. And so I love, <laughs> Josh keeps all the geocaches he collects in a secret basis. No, I don't keep them. I return them all. So, um, so this is just, it's just like a guidebook of all some of the greatest caches, and this is uh, in the United States. So it's so cool. Um, it says, oh, we hit 100 people. It says here, we just hit 100 people. Fantastic. Welcome, everybody who has joined us. We are now unboxing the cache crate. We have opened the first thing, which is the book 201 Geocaches to Find Before You Die, second edition. The author, Gary Slinkard, is in, is in, the, uh, is in the chat right now. And... Um, and so, oh, I should show you something real quick. So I have the first edition, and I want to show you something that I did. So here's the first edition. Oh, look at, there's Gary himself. Does anybody recognize that geocache? <laughs> but, um, oh, look at that. Even signed, go find them, Gary. Yeah, me and Gary, we're on a, we're on a first name basis. <laughs> uh, Gary says, buy the book on Amazon. Uh, but here, check this out. This is, this is my favorite page. Top 20 favorited geocaches in America. And look at that. All those check marks, those are all the caches I have found. So according to this book, I only need um, one, two, three. I only need four. I need the spot. The spot, I need that, which is in New York. I need total tubular three, which is in Seattle. I can't believe I haven't got that before. I need a slider, which I believe is also in Seattle. And I need ET Highway number one. But I got, check it out guys, I got all of them. So I told you, I love, I love collecting things. I love collecting experiences. I love collecting friends. I love collecting people like you as friends. Collecting things are, are a lot of fun. All right. So the first item, 
<laughs> guys, my, I might stretch, you know, I might do it. I might stretch this unboxing all the way out to an hour. Wouldn't that be incredible? Could happen. Could, could happen. We have 100 people, don't leave. Uh, here's the first item. What a, that, that's a great, what a great item. All right. All right, I'm, pulling out, I'm not looking, I'm pulling out the next one. Um, we got a little piece of paper. This describes everything that is uh, inside the crate. I'm not gonna look at that now. I'll look at that at the very, very end. 12 minutes per item. Is the book for US caches only? Yes, yes, uh, this, this one is for US caches only because uh, basically if you did a world version, it would all be German. Uh, probably all the German caches, probably. Um, I think Gary has talked about doing a worldwide version or a Europe version, um, but but who knows? I don't know. We're back down to 99. Somebody's fallen off. Somebody's fallen off. All right, next thing. Reaching in. Ooh, I think, look at this, guys. I think I know, I think I know what this is. I'm almost certain I know what this is. Look, it seems to be several wood pieces. And I'm pretty sure I know what this is. I'm gonna open it up. Dun, dun, dun. Wood pieces. How is this related to geocaching? Who knows? Okay, yep. <laughs> All right, I, I know what this is. Look at what this is. What do you guys think this is? Now, anybody who's already has the cash crate, you can't say, but what do you think this is? I think I know what it is. I'm kind of excited about it because this, this is gonna give me something to do, something to do, to, something to put together. Uh, this is, check it out. Oh, David's Geocaching Adventures, two bucks Canadian. Thank you so much. Oh, you know what that means? It means, it, we, we need to be interrupted because it means, oh yeah, it's happening. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. Who should I slow dance with next? I should go get Tammy. Oh, I got a special treat for you. Do you guys realize? You guys realize this is for you for giving uh, to the super chat. Thank you, David. Uh, and this is for you. Uh, I usually do a dance or show and tell. And I don't think I've shown this. Do you know that as a child, I was on the cover of a rock star magazine? Look at there. <laughs> there I am. Oh, that's that's the, the woman uh, from Treasure. But uh, there it is. Look at me. Wasn't I a handsome little kid on Video Star Magazine? With my with my cool uh, my cool drumsticks and oh gosh this issue has fantastic features uh, incredible look at incredible hunks incredible hunks um, heavenly heartthrobs oh my gosh Matthew <laughs> thank you so much but there you go pretty sweet I was on the cover of Video Stars do I play drums no I don't play drums. But that's me with my sweet fake leather coat. And if you look closely, if you look closely in the reflection, you can see E.T. You can see E.T. holding you. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so we got another super chat from Matthew. What can I show you? I, I feel like I've shown you everything in here. Oh my gosh, what should it be? Oh, here's this is cool. Here's a, here's a little show and tell. So when I had... Uh, so when I had my birthday party, people are like, dance. I, I, gotta, I gotta spice it up. Uh, when I had my birthday party, this is for you, Matthew. Uh, I don't think I included this. When I had my birthday party, I wanted to have a log book for it. As, as you know, um, this was a picture from my birthday party, First to Find Magazine. Um, and it was Back to the Future, Back to the Future themed. And th look at, this was the log book. <laughs> it's a kid's, this book is so cool. It's a kid's version it's a kid's version of Back to the Future, and it is amazing. And so I made, there's the logbook for the event. Isn't that cool? This is like the coolest, like, look at that. That is so cool. So, so Matthew, something you missed out of the videos. That's awesome. Uh, don't think anyone rocks a jean jacket better than Josh. Thank you, Mason. That's very kind of you. All right, back to the cash crate, guys. 
Whoops, things are falling. Back to the cash crate. So, you guys, this is a birdhouse. It's a birdhouse, people. It's a birdhouse, so it's gonna give me something to do in quarantine. It's going to, and so look at, and it just like, it looks like it just like snaps, snaps together. It looks like, basically, it looks like, it looks like the instructions are pretty much like a puzzle cache. So, um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna decorate it, and maybe, uh, maybe I can even turn it into a cache. I could put maybe a cache in that hole somehow. So yeah, this is, uh, I think this is really cool. I really like this. Fantastic. So we got a birdhouse. So in review, in review, we got 201, 201 geocaches to find before you die. Great book. And we got a bird birdhouse that I can make and I could actually even turn it into a geocache. Back to the cache crate, yes. Back. All right, next thing. What is this? What is this? Oh! <laughs> okay, so I don't think this is, I'm not sure this is geocaching related. I guess it could be. There's actually a woman on TikTok that puts these in caches as her signature item. But it's a, it's a deck of cards, guys. It's a deck of cards. Um, and I guess it makes sense. Oh, yes. That's right. They're camoed cards. So they are, <laughs> they are geocaching related. Look, look at guys, you can't even, you can't even see those. You can't, I'm basically holding nothing because you can't see them, they're so camoed. Yes, they're camoed. So let's see, you can put these in a cache, you can play cards with them at home, you can write your geocaching name on them and throw them in, throw them in caches. That, that's another thing. I'm trying to think of all the things geocaching related you can do with these cards. Um, but yeah, uh, being that we're quarantined, we got we gotta have stuff we gotta have stuff inside. Yeah, it could be a great signature item. Again, I know a woman on TikTok who who puts cards in geocaches and writes her name on it. Um, I know, I know, right? But there's nothing in my hand, right? <laughs> you could, you could use them as log. Oh, I never thought of that. Logan said you can use these as log books. So like they could open up, find like, they could like find an empty card. Uh, they could find an empty card and they could sign it and put it back in. And that could be the log book. That's an ingenious, I, you guys, I find, have found over 5,000 geocaches. I've never seen anybody use cards to, exactly, what cards? I know, I know you can't see them because they're, they're camouflaged, but I've never seen anybody use them as a, as a logbook. That's a really good idea. As long as you maybe put a Sharpie marker in there, people use a pen, but awesome, awesome. Make a geocache with cards as the logbook. Yes, that's exactly, that's exactly what I was thinking. Um, so, in review, <laughs> in review, we have 200, if you just joined us, 201 geocaches to find before you die. We have a birdhouse, and we have camo, I know you can't see them, camouflaged cards that can be used for various things. Yeah, guys, if that was it, if that was all that was in there, I think it's worth it. I've had fun already opening this. But there's more. There's more. Reach in my hand. <laughs> I do. I still need 20 more minutes. What's this? Oh, we have the stuck at home bingo. <laughs> we have the stuck at home bingo card. <laughs> this is interesting. Um... Oh gosh, there's several things on here. And so um, I wonder how many of these I've done already. Should, let, let's go through it together, all right? I'm gonna go through it together. First one, finish the 2001 Caches to find book. I don't think I finished it, no. Breathe deeply. I'm gonna do that, ready? Let's all do that together. All right, finish that one. Look for a puzzle cache to solve. Did it? I'll tell you when I have a bingo. Record, record your crate unboxing. I'm doing it right now. It's this is recorded on YouTube. Bam. Put together a bookmark list. I have not done that. Update a cache description of a cache you own. Good idea. Listen to a geocaching podcast. I've done that. Listen to several. Research high favorite point caches in my area. Boom. I've done that. 
solve three puzzle caches. I've done that. You guys, this month, I have found, I've solved more puzzle caches than I have in my whole career of geocaching, and I've been geocaching a long time. Post your local Facebook group. Done that. Go for a walk around your neighborhood. Done that. Watch a YouTube vlogger. Nope, I haven't done that. Just kidding. Yes, I have. <laughs> that's a cool that that's one. Free space. Did that. Rewrite a log at least 600 words. Interesting. Have not done that. Take a break from technology. No, I haven't done that. Show your appreciation to your local reviewers. Good idea. Haven't done that. Take time each day to reflect. Let's take some time. I'm going to reflect. Let's see. How can I reflect? I need a mirror. I'm looking into my... My geocoin, and I'm reflecting. I'm, I'm looking into my screen that's off. I just reflected. Good, I'm done. Um, boom. You guys, I don't, I don't even have a bingo yet. I don't have a bingo yet. Check in on your fellow cashier. You guys doing okay? You doing all right? I'm checking in on you. How you doing? How you feeling? Mason, you're doing good. Amber's good. Good. I just checked in on you. Good. Uh, get lost in the flow of what doing what you love. I love this right now. I'm lost. Lost. Look, I still don't. I still don't have a bingo. I still. When I get a bingo, I'm gonna freak out. Okay. Build a new cash container to hide. I have not done that yet. Okay. Be in the moment. I'm in the moment. Okay. Good. You guys, I still don't have a bingo yet. Okay, if I have this one, I'm gonna get a bingo. Post something positive to the Cash Crate Facebook group. Well, I just posted this video to the Cash Crate uh, Facebook group, so boom, we got a bingo! Bingo in the house, you know what that means? Bingo, B-I-N-G-O, B-I-N-G-O. B-I-N-G-O, B-I-N-G-O, and bingo was his name Oh, We got a bingo. We got a bingo. Every time I start dancing, the viewers go up, so I should just dance the whole time. Notice your thoughts. I've done that. Sito while out for a walk. I've done, done that. Get a good night's sleep. For sure I need to do that. All right, so I almost have a blackout. That's a fun idea. And that took up time for this hour-long <laughs> unboxing. So, in, in review, in review, we got the 201 geocaches defined before you die. We've got, we've got a birdhouse. We've got camouflaged cards that you can't even see right now in my hand. And we have a stuck-in-home bingo card. <laughs> Build the birdhouse. Uh, based on those instructions, I think it might take me way longer than the 22 minutes that we have to do that. But that's a good idea for maybe a future video. Okay? Whew. All right, I'm going to take a drink of water. Talk amongst yourselves. Lisa, that's right. So, friends, there's a birdhouse decorating contest on the Cash Crate Facebook page. So, people are decorating these birdhouses... And they're putting them, uh, putting them on there, and there's a contest. That's so cool. What a fun idea. Uh, my energy level's at 1,000%. There we go. Um, oh, you have the same glass, the Great Muppet Caper uh, uh, 1981 Muppet glass. Thank you, Mark M. Love it. Um, okay, that's actually instructions of all three. Oh, there's different. Lisa, so, Lisa, there's different designs. Okay, that's cool. Ooh. Well, my energy is not at a thousand percent when I sleep. All right. All right. Going back to the cash crate. Paper. I can use this for toilet paper. It's a, a big commodity right now. Oh, we got one more. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Yes. Uh, so every month I get the tra add on trackable and, uh, and I love this because it's going to match my other ones. All right. We got a geocoin. Look at this one. This is one I don't have yet. 
It's like light blue with green hands. How cool is that? And I'm gonna cover up the tracking code. Uh, it Look at it, it's like gold and light blue. I really like it. And you guys, oh my gosh, I'm gonna turn my light on. Check this out. It's going to match the other ones in my case. I'm gonna flip you around off, off of uh, ET here. Uh, check this out. It is pretty. So look at, oh my gosh, we're gonna add it. You're gonna sit, we're gonna kick that, we're gonna kick that guy out and we're gonna put him right here. Perfect, awesome. And then like from a distance, so like look at my coin collection guys. I'm so proud of it. Oh, lots of like, like look at one of my favorite, like, I showed you my favorite coins like last, uh, last week. Yeah, there's, ooh, look, look at there, boom. Awesome, look at all the geocache talk ones. My, oh, Miss Pac-Man one, very coveted. Snag the tag, look at that. Geocaching vlogger, boom, 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 boom. All right, yeah, all right. All right, so that's, that's, oh, and then we got one more thing. I gotta put you back, I gotta put you back on ET. You guys, oh my gosh, E.T. fell in the garbage. Look, how sad is that? Oh my gosh, poor E.T. You okay, little buddy? E.T. fell home. E.T. fell home. E.T. fell home, E.T. fell home. You guys, he was one in a claw machine. And you know what? You didn't know this, but you were sitting on his lap you were sitting on his lap the whole time. Like you were sitting on his lap. Um, this is, I'm really high tech, right? So like on an ammo can, on this jar in here and you're sitting, he, he wants to give you a hug. Sebastian built the burnt house with his dad and you don't have to say it 5,000 times, but that's so cool, Sebastian. E.T. You know what? I have a, I have a new little tripod coming in, in the mail, but uh, Amazon is a little bit on the slow side right now. So there you go. ET, hold on tight to them. Don't drop. Don't drop my 90 friends that are in there. Um, okay, so do I, uh, do I want a trackable geocoin or something and a Munzee coin code? I usually just discover coins when I see them in person. Um, I also look at, we also have a sticker for my bingo card. And do I have, where's my bingo card? All right, so here's a bingo card. I've been getting this. See all those dots? These have been in the cash crates and then there's like other things. And as you notice, like I don't think, do I have, I don't know if I even have a, I don't even have a bingo yet, but you know what? Check this out. Thanks for joining us, Katrina. Gotta get back to work. Uh, but look at this, April, you guys, April. April's gonna give me two bingos. Yes. Um, a delicious Panda, I got the bingo card in a cash crate months ago. I can't remember when the first one. It looks like the first one was mm, August of 2019. That was maybe the first one. Here we go. Two bingos, fo folks. Two bingos. So how fun is this? Uh, Lisa, Lisa, the, August 2019 was the first one. Lisa's so great because, um, and I think you can download these somewhere if you didn't get in the mail, but not only is it fun opening them, but she makes it fun with like interactive games and stuff in it. So that's pretty cool. So now I have a bingo, so I can put this. Uh, Lisa said you can download the bingo card in the Cash Crate Facebook group. There you go. And so now I can, I believe I can put this. It says um, black up four columns in a row. Post to complete a bingo card, a Facebook group, and then uh, two winners will be randomly selected each month. So I have a chance to win this month with my my card. All right, let's let's review what we got. Oh, um, let's go back to the let's go back to the sheet here. All right, it says here, goods. See, the bill of lading. The bill of lading. 
Uh, 2001 Geocache is Defined Book by Gary Slinkard, second edition. Boom. Camouflage playing cards. Oh, it says, don't lose these. Oh, don't worry. It could be pretty easy to lose these because they're camouflaged, but it says, that's funny. Don't lose these. Um, a birdhouse contest rules on the back. Um, so there's the, the birdhouse. And then the trackable add-on, the 2020 Leapfrog, uh, Leapfrog uh, Secret Version 17. Oh my gosh. You guys, this is a secret. Did you know it was a secret? It's not a secret anymore. There's a secret version 17. Robert's gonna go baby sweat, this baby sit. Thanks for watching. Awesome. So there you have it. Um, really great cash crate, man. Lisa, this might be this might be a bold statement, but I'm gonna say it. This might be one of my favorite cash crates of all time. Some really quality, fun, fun, different types of things, and uh, and I love it. So good job. People are having to go. Well, have a great day if you have to go. Um, Ned, I have my cat with you. You have your cat with you. I love that. Um, so if you would like the cash crate, um, go to cashcrate.com. Uh, when it opens, you can put uh, you can subscribe to it. It's $25 a month. That uh, It's a little bit more if you want the add-on trackable. And it's, it's just a lot, a lot of fun. And it's not open right now, but you can enter yourself into the waiting list. And the waiting list will, um, you'll get an email when the cash crate opens up and then you can subscribe uh, then. So there you go. Okay, cool. Well, I think we're at 46 minutes. I don't know what else, what else could do. I, I wanna keep it, keep it going. Um, Lisa says, yes, uh, yes, those waiting lists get first crack. Oh, that's good. So the waiting lists get, people get first crack at joining. That's good to know. I didn't know that. Good thing you're in here to tell us that. Okay. Um, so thank you. Thank you to Lisa and Cash Advance for partnering with us on this video. Really appreciate you sending me, sending me this cash crate. And I wanted to let you know, uh, we also partner with Lisa and Cash Advance on the Geo Challenge of the Month. The Geo Challenge of the Month is... Uh, uh, Lisa challenges me to do something in the geocaching world, and then I, on video, in turn, you, in turn challenge you to do that. If you complete the challenge, then you win an official Geo Challenge of the Month Geocoin. You wanna see them? You wanna see them? Yeah, you do. Here's, here's some versions of it. Uh, these are some versions. Uh, there's the red version. You can buy that one. Um, there's a secret version that nobody has right there. Um, so they look kind of like this, but not completely. They look, uh, they're different colors. So, oh no, you guys. <laughs> guys, it happened again. It happened again. Look. E.T. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's okay, E.T. 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 photo, E.T. photo. Okay, he's fine. He's fine. He fell. He fell. E.T. is down. That's okay. Well, he's gonna he's gonna perk back up again. There you go, E.T. Just hold my friends. Hold just hold them tight. Am I ever coming to the Netherlands? Boy, I hope so. Boy, I hope so. I would love to come to the Netherlands. Anyway, where, where was I before E.T. fell? And I was showing you the coins. Oh! Uh, so we have some good questions. I'll answer all your questions in good time. So um, there's only one day to complete the Geo Challenge of the Month. If you don't know what the Geo Challenge of the Month is, you have to watch that video. I'm not going to tell you now. You have to watch my video on that. Just search Geo Challenge of the Month on my channel. You'll find it there. Uh, but tomorrow is the last day to complete it. So complete it. And, uh, yeah, hashtag Geo Challenge. And somebody asked, will there be a Geo Challenge in the month in the month of May? And the answer to that is <laughs> yes. Yes, of course. Um, and we're, again, gonna try to make it as accessible to as many people as possible. So the Geo Challenge of the month will be released this Sunday, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time, and uh, it will be released on this YouTube channel. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And you're right, it's gonna be May. That's right. 
Um, I also heard on May the 4th that Disney Plus, this is not sponsored. By no, Ichi! How could you do it? He, he fell. He dropped you again. Oh, I dropped you. Okay, E.T., don't drop my friends. Don't drop them. I'm sorry if that sorry if that hurt your ears as he dropped you. It wasn't my fault. It was ET's fault. This is you guys, this is professional. When you have a stuffed animal holding your phone, you know this is like this is like professional. <laughs> Ned said he completed it. So, oh gosh, what was I saying before ET dropped you? Oh yeah, Disney Plus. That's right. Disney Plus is going to have Every single Star Wars movie streaming on there, including the new one, Rise of Skywalker. How about that? That's pretty cool. Um, I got distracted, though. But May, May, what's, what day is it? May? Oh, my gosh. It's a huge, it's a huge day of celebration, you guys. May the 3rd is the 20th. 2-0, the 20th anniversary of geocaching. 20 years of geocaching. It's, it's a huge day. Huge day. That's incredible. And it's also the launch of the May Geo Challenge of the Month. So, don't know how we could work that out so perfectly. It was perfect. So, I hope you celebrate. So, yeah, I know the celebration got canceled. It didn't get canceled, it got postponed. There's a difference. Um, uh, somebody asked if you know who Corey Spurrell is, TikTok. Oh yeah, a good question. Deborah's asking if I'm gonna collab with Corey Spurrell. I was supposed to collaborate with her uh, in May, but that's not gonna happen because I can't get down to Florida right now. Uh, it's not advised, but someday I have contacted her and uh, someday we are talking about collaborating. This, uh, If you don't know who Corey is, she's a TikToker that also geocaches, she's down in Florida. I'm in Minnesota, very far away from each other. And also, yes, people are reminding me that um, starting Saturday, you'll be able to, when you find a geocache Saturday or after that, till through the end of the year, you are going to get a very special um, big blue switch souvenir to celebrate 20 years of geocaching. How cool is that? That's pretty fun. All right, we're at 52 minutes. And so uh, what we'll do, let's, see, you get, let's have you guys look at the, the cash crate stuff one more time. And then I will, uh, I will answer any questions you have uh, for the next uh, seven and a half minutes so we can get this to around one hour as we've hung out together for one hour. Now, I apologize, Lisa. The, present I don't, uh, the presentation is not going to be as good as it was when I opened it. But uh, here we go. The bill of lading. We got 2001. Uh, 2001. 201 geocaches fine before you die. Uh, stock in house bingo that I completed and already got a bingo for. Uh, invisible playing cards. I mean, camouflage playing cards. Uh, we have a birdhouse. There's the birdhouse. And we have um, the secret, the secret frog geocoin. And and I just, I just, right in front of you guys, I just completed my cash grape bingo card. So, and it came all in this awesome, Little box. All right. I missed some of your questions. So if you have questions, you have to repeat them. Um, do I play Red Dead Redemption 2? It's your favorite video game. No, I don't play that game. Are you in a total, am I in a total lockdown or are you allowed to go outside? I'm allowed to go outside. I'm not in total lockdown. I can go outside to get some exercise. So I have been geocaching a little bit. Do I like cats? Yes, Derek, I love cats. Angry Birds 2, haven't played it lately. Do you like Dallas when you visit it? I love Dallas, Dallas is great. I need to visit Dallas again because I need to visit Barney Smith's um, Toilet Seat Museum uh, again. Uh, show show my lunchbox collection. I don't have a ton, but I could maybe show you. How old are you? How old was I when I found your first geocache? I'm gonna say I must have been 30, about 30 or 31. Um, how far do you have to travel now to find a cache you haven't found? Not far. I've got some in my neighborhood that I'm haven't found that I'm holding on. I'm waiting to find in case I need them for a souvenir promotion. 
Um, what color, what's the coolest cache you have found? The ape cache, that one was pretty cool, but many of the caches that I found in Hanover, Germany were probably some of the coolest caches I found. Probably the best geocache in America is in the Milwaukee area, and that is the Dr. Who TARDIS that is created by DJW House and Dr. Doolittle. Uh, what's my favorite cache? I just told you, what am I drinking? I'm drinking um, sparkling water, grapefruit flavor by Kirkland, which I believe is sold by Costco. Do I play Roblox? No, I don't. How old is Reese? Reese is 20 years old. Uh, share my race, uh, share my lunchbox collection. Uh, I look like I'm 25. Thank you so much, Delicious Panda. That is so kind of you to say so. I'm much older than that. Um, I found a DNF today. and you're Oh, Amber, you redeemed a DNF? Like you found it after not finding it? Congratulations. Would love to see a tour of my office. I think... Um, Maybe if it's a little cleaner, I'll do it another day. But I, if you look at some of my previous lives, like maybe uh, the one uh, five weeks ago, I think I did a good tour of my office. Uh, see my shells doing, I'm doing the get to know me challenge tomorrow. Thank you. Yes. Uh, that's awesome. Um, go, um, go over to, uh, to see my shell. He just commented and he's, uh, he's an awesome guy. We actually did, last night we did a, um, a geocaching trivia party with my patrons. And by the way, all the patrons in here, thank you so much for your patronage. Uh, that's awesome. Where's Daniel Flieger? He's in Germany. I wish I could see him. I miss that guy. I um, thought you were younger too, but your pop references made me question that. Yeah, right? I remember things. Have I ca ever cashed in Pittsburgh? No, but I would love to. It's on my bucket list. I'm a huge fan of Mr. Rogers. There he is. Mr. Rogers. And so I want to visit the Mr. Rogers statue because that's a virtual and also the Heinz Museum. I would love to visit that to see the Mr. Rogers exhibit. Uh, Lisa asked, when did it last snow there? I think it snowed, I want to say maybe 10 days ago, but I think we're in the clear. I don't think it's going to snow anymore. Uh, thank you, Matthew, for your patronage. And also thank you for the super chat today. Have you ever cashed in the United Kingdom? No, but I would love to. How old am I? I'm 42. Uh, <laughs> Have you ever cashed in Alaska, Derek? No, but I would love to. No snow in Dallas, I'm sure not. All right, am I from Illinois? No, I'm from the great state of Minnesota, but I love visiting Illinois. Favorite classic rock band? Hmm. Aerosmith. I'm just going to go with Aerosmith. Favorite band or artist? I, I'm really a fan of Bon Iver right now. Uh, love his stuff. Uh, Alaska is the last state for Lisa to visit and cash. She's got all of them, but... Alaska, that's fantastic. Uh, have I heard of the Channel Islands? No, I haven't. Favorite dance? <laughs> Favorite dance scene in a movie? I'm going to say the Napoleon Dynamite dance from Napoleon Dynamite, but I also love the final dance scene uh, in the movie Dirty Dancing with Patrick, Patrick Swayze. And you're right, 42, Happy Hodag. Thank you for being a patron, by the way. 42 is the answer to everything. It's a, it's a perfect age. Um... You're 42 as well. We're brothers. We're brothers. Um, are you good about checking for ticks after caching the woods? Yes. As a matter of fact, I am. And um, I'll show you. You know, I'll show you another. I'll show you another item that I just recently got from Cash Advance. And uh, look at this. Nice, nice little combat uh, first aid kit. But you know what this is? That is a tick. That is a tick key. So if you get a tick. You can uh, you can remove it safely. So, uh, when is my birthday? It is in October. Thanks for hanging out, uh, Tobin. Thanks for hanging out. We are we're a minute and a half before we are done here. Ah, <sighs> Tiki works for dogs too. That is good to know. That is awesome. Uh, what do I think an ABBA? Dancing queen. Dun, 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 dun. ABBA's all right. Um, group dance at the end of the video. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, Pizza Ninja. That's a great idea. Here we go. All right, everybody. It is time. Everybody get up. I don't care if people are watching you. I don't care about that. I'm going to open up my door. And I'm. it's, it's going to happen. And uh, we're gonna, all going to do a big group dance. Uh, group dance together because you know what? It's important to get your body moving, especially if you've been inside a lot. So we're doing this. We're doing it right now. And this song is actually called Now. Here it is. Here we go. Everybody on your feet. Thanks for hanging out, David. Thank you for the super chat earlier. Here we go. Annie! 
Muppet Movie, The Muppet Show. Maybe my favorite, Gremlins. Ask and you shall receive. Have a great week, everybody. We'll see you on Sunday.